Did you know that in math, numbers can be classified and grouped together? Hi, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video, we'll be learning how to classify numbers as either natural, whole, integer, or rational. Before we classify numbers, we need to understand the different types of numbers that exist in the world of math. The first set of numbers are natural numbers. Think of natural numbers as counting numbers. When we were really young and first started school, we learned how to count. The numbers we learned in kinder were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. You can think of natural numbers as counting numbers. The next set of numbers we have are whole numbers. Whole numbers include all natural numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, but they also include the digit 0. Think of whole numbers being different from natural numbers since they include the number 0 where natural numbers do not. And how different life would be without the number 0? After whole numbers, we have integers. Integers include all natural numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. They also include all whole numbers, so we will add the 0 to our list. But they also include negative numbers. So to the left of our set of numbers, we will add negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. You've probably seen negative numbers in temperature change or in marking certain locations such as below sea level. Integers are different from natural and whole numbers in that they include negative numbers. The last group we will be learning about are rational numbers. Rational numbers include all natural numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. They also include whole numbers, so let's go ahead and add a 0 to the left of 1. They include all integers, so let's add negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. But now we will add fractions, decimals, and percents. Rational numbers include a mixture of fractional parts and whole numbers. So let's add a few to our example. Negative 1 and 5 tenths, negative 3 fourths, and 12 over 8 are all rational numbers. Rational numbers also include repeating decimals. For example, 4 over 9 is the same as a repeating decimal. 1 over 3 would also be a repeating decimal. Lastly, we have percentages. A percent, such as 125% or 85%, is also considered a rational number. So if we look at our diagram, all natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers are rational numbers since they are inside of the rational number circle. Next, we have integers. All natural and whole numbers are integers since they're inside of the integer ring. Then we have whole numbers. All natural numbers are whole numbers since they're inside the whole number ring. So let's try to classify a few numbers. Let's say we have the number 25. The number 25 can be classified as a natural number or counting number as a whole number, as an integer, and as a rational number since it can be expressed as a fraction 25 over 1. The number negative 9 can be classified as an integer and a rational number since it can be expressed as a fraction such as negative 9 over 1. However, it cannot be classified as a natural number or whole number because these groups do not include negatives. The number 2 and 54 hundredths would be classified only as a rational number. Integers do not include decimals, only the digit 0, positives and negatives. Whole numbers also do not include fractions and decimals, and natural numbers do not include decimals and fractions. Lastly, how would we classify the number 0? The number 0 would be classified as a whole number, integer, and rational number because natural numbers do not include the number 0. Here's your challenge for this video. 
How would you classify 20 over 4? 35 percent negative nine positive three and the number 1000 applying what we learned today about natural whole integers and rational numbers so go ahead and pause the video to solve the problem and post your answer as a comment so i can get back to you if you're looking to master various concepts in math and science you can subscribe to our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future videos